Oh my God, I hope I want to study today. Oh my God, I hope I want to study today. I hope I want to read instead of playing a video game. I hope I want to socialize instead of watching porn. I hope, I hope, I hope I'm motivated towards all these things because we have no control over ourselves. When you have no control over yourself, you pray for motivation in the right direction. So when we have no control over our actions and we rely on motivation, then we're screwed if we do not want things. Because if we want something, then we'll do it. And now what's happened is my life falls to what I want. And now you're really screwed. Because who controls what you want? Do you control what you want? Hell no, right? That's the one thing that we can be 100% certain about. You don't control what you want. So now the question becomes very simple. Do you want to live a life where you are directed by your wants or do you want to live a life where you are not directed by your wants? Does your desire control you or do you control your desire? I look at these goals and I feel no strong pull towards them, right? So that's the thing. This person is looking for gravitation. I should do all this stuff. And I look at these goals and there's no strong pull. It's just, eh, that doesn't sound exciting or fulfilling at all, right? So this person is like fucked in a couple of ways. We all are. Because what we should do the world has programmed us that we should do all of this kind of stuff, right? And then we don't want to do it. So there's no internal drive, right? There's no motivation. And then we're kind of stuck. I break up within months because I get bored. So this is a basic problem of you are not in control of your mind. Your mind is in control of you. It's, it's very simple. So the first thing to do if you are in the situation where you don't want things, but you should do them is you must control your mind. So meditation is the number one thing. So then what happens as you meditate more and more and more is you become your actions become independent of your wants. See, this is a big problem where we are all trying to cultivate a particular want, but we are fundamentally not in control of it. How do I get inspired? How do I get motivated? How do I get this? How do I get this? How do I get this? Right? I want to make it easier on myself. No, you just, you decide when you say jump, the mind should jump. But this is what happens with our mind. Our mind is run wild. We don't control it anymore. So it decides it wants something and we're like, okay, fine. You're the boss. Because if we don't listen to it, it punishes us. It makes us bored. <gasps> oh my God. Don't play a video game. Why not? What'll happen? I'll be bored. <gasps> So you guys want, if you guys want to really train your mind, you want to teach your mind a fucking lesson. Next time you take a flight, don't take anything to do. <sighs> what am I going to do? Nothing. There's nothing to do. What's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing's going to happen. You'll survive. You'll be bored. <sighs> right? Don't take your phone into the bathroom. All of these things. What, what do you get from using your phone? Not very much. It costs you more than it gives you. But our, our mind is in control of us. So all these things are hard. So if you, if you don't want to do something that you should do, the interesting answer is you just need one thing to fix this problem, which is learn to be bored. Learn to not let your wants control you. And the most direct way to not let your wants control you is boredom. I want this, so what? So in order to gain control of your wants, you need two things. One is meditation. The second is the tolerance of boredom. Once you learn to be bored, now just think about this for a second. Think about the value of being bored. If you no longer have to retreat from boredom, do you need to use your phone? No. Do you need to play a video game? No. Do you need to watch pornography? No. Can you go to the library? Yes. It's boring at the library, Dr. K. Oh my God, it's so boring. Well. Boredom doesn't bother you anymore, so ain't no thing. Your life will be transformed with this one very simple trick. Learn to be bored. Be okay with being bored. Get very good at being bored. And then eventually something cool will happen. As you're bored, your mind will finally come crawling to you and it'll say, please give me something to do. It's like, all right, son, let's learn physics. And your mind is like, okay, fine. And then you will be in control of your mind and it will not be in control of you. I binged Dr. K today. This clip that I'm showing you is from a three hour live stream that Dr. K did on his channel Healthy Gamer. And this three hour stream is really worth it. I highly recommend you check it out. Just listen to it in double speed so it takes an hour and a half. There's such valuable information in this stream. Now, I'm not totally a slave to my mind, doing everything my mind tells me to do. Like, oh, I want to do this, let's do this. I'm a partial slave to my mind. I still do some of the things that I should do, but I could definitely be doing more of it on a consistent basis. The most significant thing to do I think is to handle phone addiction. That's something that I've been working on and something that I have to continuously work on. There's already enough talk about phone addiction from a bunch of people, so I won't delve into that. So one of the things I'm going to do, and this is something that I was doing, but I stopped doing recently, and this is also something that Dr. K recommends in the earlier part of this video, is to go for an hour long walk every day. Your phone is on silent and you are unplugged, not listening to any earphones. I was doing this, but I have stopped it recently. This is a powerful reminder that I should be getting back into this daily habit of walking for an hour every day. As you can see from my calendar, at the beginning, I was walking a bit throughout the week, www, w, and then www, and then w is now absent on the second half of the week and first week of this month. In last year's calendar, I had just had a streak of w's for weeks on end. So time to get back to my daily walks. See you tomorrow and 1% better every day, baby. Good morning, Tigga. Tigga came for more than cuddles again. Prepare.
making it less slippery for Mochi so that she's safer on the instead of the hardwood floor. Now they're checking it out. <laughs> they have to check it out. <laughs> you like the blanket, Tigger? You like the blanket on the floor? This is so that Mochi doesn't slip on the hardwood. Of course, Tigger has to come check it out. <laughs> oh, she seems to like it. Tigger's like a baby. Mochi wants cuddles. <laughs> She's being affectionate right now. Mochi doesn't want to leave my feet. Oh, <laughs> I got you up, Mochi. She doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> 